The formation of clouds in the atmosphere is an important part of the water cycle. The clouds that form in the sky are basically a four types. These are the cirrus clouds, the stratus clouds, the cumulus clouds and the nimbus clouds. The formation of clouds takes place because of condensation of water vapor in the atmosphere. Water is continuously added in the atmosphere in the form of water vapor by the process of evaporation. The water vapor present in the atmosphere gets converted into water droplets by the process of condensation. This condensation takes place at different levels in the atmosphere. When condensation takes place at higher level in the atmosphere, it leads to the formation of clouds. Clouds are in fact dense agglomeration or collection of water droplets at higher level in the atmosphere. These are in fact the most important form of suspended water droplets formed by condensation in the atmosphere. The clouds that form in the atmosphere at different levels is of different shapes and sizes. According to their height, expanse, density and transparency or opaqueness, clouds are grouped under four main types, which are the cirrus clouds, the cumulus clouds, stratus clouds and nimbus clouds. Cirrus clouds are the clouds which are formed at high altitudes between 8000 to 12000 meters. These are thin and detached clouds which have a feathery appearance. It appears like the feathers of the bird. They are white in color. It appears like white patches or narrow bands in the sky. These clouds have a fibrous or hair-like appearance. All the cirrus or serotype clouds are composed of ice crystals and are all high clouds. The sun or moon shining through these clouds appears like producing a halo. Cirrus clouds have a brilliant colors at sunset and sunrise. However, these clouds do not give precipitation. Another type of cloud which is commonly identified is cumulus cloud. Cumulus clouds are cauliflower shaped clouds which usually gets formed in fair weather conditions. The top of these clouds generally appear brilliant white when sun rays fall on it, although the base is usually relatively dark. These clouds are dense clouds with sharp outlines which develops in the form of rising mounds, domes or towers or which the upper part of the of it resembles like a cauliflower. The sunlit part of these clouds are mostly brilliant white. The base is relatively dark and nearly horizontal. Cumulus clouds are generally formed in the daytime over land areas and disappear at night. They sometimes cause light precipitation also. Air that is heated from below or cooled from above normally produces cumulus clouds. Stratus clouds are another type of cloud which are without any particular form or structure. These spread over a large area in the sky and the sky may be completely covered by this type of cloud. These clouds appear like thin sheet of cloud spreading over a large area 
and are generally formed either due to loss of heat or mixing of air masses with different temperatures. Another type of cloud is called nimbus clouds, which are very low clouds and are of black or dark grey colour. These are in fact rain bearing clouds. These cause significant amount of precipitation and lead to occurrence of rain, rainfall, snowfall or hail. They form at middle level in the atmosphere or very near to the surface of the earth. These are very dense clouds and are opaque to the rays of the sun. That is why it appears dark or are of deep grey colour as very little light is able to pass through it due to high density of water droplets in it. These four types of clouds are the basic clouds. However, a combination of these four basic types of clouds give rise to many different types of clouds which forms at different levels of the atmosphere and which can be identified as high level clouds which forms at a mean height of about 5 to 13 kilometers like cirrus, cirrostratus and cirrocumulus clouds. Middle level clouds which forms at a mean height of 2 to 7 kilometers like altostratus and altocumulus clouds. Low level clouds which forms at a mean height of 0 to 2 kilometers like stratocumulus and nimbostratus clouds and also clouds with extensive vertical development like cumulus and cumulonimbus clouds. However, all these different types of clouds are formed by the combination of the four main types of clouds that is cirrus, cumulus, stratus and nimbus clouds. Thank <laughs> you.